if you're installing ESET on a new rebuilt computer with a subscription that's already been activated, you would have to use the username and password. Uh, in this video, we're going to show you a couple of different places where you can enter the username and password to reactivate your subscription. This is Paul, one of the techs from Microcenter. Let's get started. First off, we want to go ahead and open up ESET, so click on the ESET icon down in the system tray by the clock, just double click. Now, uh, if you're installing ESET from a download uh, off of the internet or from the disk, when it finishes installing, it's going to ask you to, uh, to activate the program. What I'm going to show you is where to put in the username and password if the program's already installed, and there are a couple of different ways to do this. Uh, the easiest way, you want to make sure that ESET is the active program by, by clicking on the, the bar up top. And then you hit the control button and the U button. And that will pull up your license details. It will give you your username and your password. Another way to get to this is to click on setup and then go to product activation. And from here, you can activate using an activation key which may also be referred to as a serial number. When you order a renewal, you're going to get an activation key slash serial number, and you would put that in here. You can also activate using a username and password. This is the method you would use if you're reinstalling ESET and you've already got a, uh, a subscription established. Or you would use this method if you have a uh, multi-computer license for ESET. Uh, the very first one you can activate using the activation key and any other computers within that subscription you have to use the username and password. Uh, when you activate using the activation key you would be sent the username and password. Uh, you would be emailed that information. So go to your email and you should have an email from ESET and that's going to have your username and your password. And you have to you have to put in exactly how it looks. The username typically is all caps, and the password, any uh, any alphanumeric characters are going to be in lower case. So, and sometimes it's very easy when you're copying and pasting this information. It's very easy to pick up like an empty like a like a space that you don't realize is there until you go to put it in, and he set rejects it. So you have to be careful. You have to try it maybe. Maybe you might have to try it twice, or you might have to type it in manually. So those are the two methods to entering the username and password into ESET. If you have any other questions, come visit us at www.microcentertech.com or visit our no-wait chat service at chat.microcentertech.com.